everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about motion transformation systems. Now in this example, we're going to be talking about a screw gear system, which is this right here. Now this is a type 1 system. So that means that our driver is our screw component, and our driven is the nut component, which you can see right here. Now this is a non-reversible system. So when I mean by non-reversible, the driver starts the motion. Now in this case, the screw is the driver and it's starting as rotational motion. And the nut is taking this rotational motion and transforming it into translational motion. So the car jack is going up and if I'm turning the other way, I'm going down. This is not reversible. A common thing people think is that if a system is reversible, I can turn my object clockwise and counterclockwise. That has nothing to do with if a system is reversible or not. If a system is reversible, the position of the driver and the driven can change. Now if this was reversible, pushing down right here would cause the nut to take the translational motion and change it into rotational motion. As you can see, I'm placing my hand and nothing's happening. So this is why this is non-reversible. And considering that this is a car jack, you would want it to be non-reversible because this would be supporting a car. If it was reversible, well, the car would fall down on you, which is not a good idea if you're trying to change your tire. 